New charges are expected in the coming days in the Madoff case. And the big question is whether members of his family, his wife, his sons, and his brother, will be named as co-conspirators. Guilty or not, they certainly benefited from the massive Ponzi scheme. Starting with Bernie and Ruth's two-story penthouse apartment in Manhattan. The latest Madoff property to be put on display by U.S. Marshals, now serving in the role of real estate agents. We're on the top floor of the Madoff penthouse. Your eye is immediately drawn to this baby Grand Steinway piano. Madoff spared no expense with the money he stole. The finest furnishings, a custom-made bed and mattress in the master bedroom, his and her closets, where he kept his 40 pairs of handmade Belgian shoes and his and her dens. Ruth Madoff's desk. I believe uh, paparazzi shots were uh, shot of Bernard and Ruth from this desk. Bernie's den is paneled in cherry and features a leather bull, apparently his personal trademark. This is the crown jewel of all four of his properties. He probably did his scheme out of this apartment. Also being put on display this week for sale, the Madoff's waterfront estate in Palm Beach. Simple but oh so elegant, featuring more of the bull motif along with three of Madoff's boats, named the Bull, the Sitting Bull, and the Little Bull. The cabins, custom designed by the same interior decorator who did the Madoff homes. More money can go back to the victims uh, through the sale of the personal property. Even though her husband's crimes paid for her life of luxury, investigators say there is so far no evidence that Ruth Madoff played an active role in the Ponzi scheme. But investigators say it is a different story for Madoff's younger brother, Peter. He served as the chief compliance officer for Madoff's firm and was responsible for certifying to the SEC that everything was legitimate. Investigators say of all the family members, the brother is the most likely to face criminal charges in the next round of indictments. Sir, do you think charges will be filed? No comment. Peter Madoff has told family members that he did not know about the scheme until weeks before it broke. There was some good news Tuesday for Madoff's victims. The Massachusetts Secretary of State, William Galvin, reached a deal with one of the hedge funds that invested their clients' money with Madoff. The fund has now agreed to give back all of their money the clients put in, plus 6% interest. Unfortunately for those who have invested directly with Madoff, there is no such deal, and they're likely to get, if they're lucky, no more than 10 cents on the dollar. That's it, 10 cents yeah. on the dollar. All right, Brian, thanks so much.